Hi, today I have prepared two multiply choice questions for you. This is simple Mendelian genetics and this is beginning level. So I hope most of you would be able to solve both problems and choose the correct answer. And here is the first question. Assume that red-green color blindness is sex linked. A color blind woman and a man with a normal vision have a son. The son's genotype is and here is the four genotypes to choose from. And uh, if you need a time to think, uh, you may stop video here. And uh, when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So, uh, because this is sex link trait, uh, we can say that this is also X link trait. So, um, three possible uh, genotypes for the mother can be. Uh, X, X, and we can designate it with um, capital A and capital A genotype. Uh, for example, um, the gene or two alleles can uh, sit uh, in such a place on the chromosome. Actually, a chromosome looks like uh, um, just a road, small road, uh, but uh, I will use these letters to show the position of the uh, two alleles. Uh, another can be uh, genotypes that can be on the X chromosomes. It can be heterozygous, so one dominant allele and one recessive. And um, another one can be uh, homozygous recessive. And this is going to be uh, small a, small a genotype or homozygous recessive. And of course, uh, the mother belongs to this uh, last genotype because she is colorblind and she must uh, have both uh, uh, recessive alleles in order to be colorblind because this is recessive genetic disorder. So, uh, because the father of the child has normal color vision, so uh, he must have on his single X chromosome uh, only uh, dominant uh, capital A allele. Or if he would have a small allele, he would be colorblind. So, now we can build a Punnett square. So. Uh, the father can be here on the top and mother can be here on the side. And we know that mother is homozygous recessive genotype. So now we can build a Punnett square and we would see uh, what is the outcome of such a cross. And here we would have, uh, so this is going to be capital A here. So I just put um, two X's here inside the box. So that means this is going to be female and female going to be heterozygous. So normal color vision. Here we also would have uh, female and uh, Female also going to be heterozygous. And here we would have uh, one X from the mother side and Y chromosome from the father side. So this is going to be male. And uh, male can have only uh, one recessive allele from the mother side. He doesn't have uh, another uh, allele to balance this recessive allele because from the father side he got only Y chromosome and X chromosome uh, from the mother side and here in this box we would have the same picture so uh, the male here also would be colorblind so as you see 50% of such a cross would result in colorblind males and 50% of such a cross 
would result in uh, females that is going to be phenotypically normal, would have normal color vision, but uh, would be carriers. So we can now choose the correct answer, and as you see, the correct answer would be B. So uh, the sun's genotype would be one recessive allele small a plus y chromosome and the rest for example answer a would be uh, genotype possible genotype for the female and uh, answer c uh, this would be normal genotype for male but we don't have such genotype here we only uh, have a small a allele and uh, that's why we do not choose this answer and this answer uh, also can be if we would have a, a normal female but we have two only heterozygous uh, females here so 50% of the children would be females and all females going to be heterozygous so this is the only correct answer so next question a man and a woman both with normal sums have a son with uh, hitchhiker's sump it is likely that and he is uh, for answers to choose from is uh, heterozygous so um, who is going to be heterozygous here once again uh, three genotypes possible when we have two alleles uh, this is going to be homozygous dominant, this is going to be heterozygous, and the third one, uh, homozygous recessive. Of course, uh, these two genotypes would mean uh, normal phenotype, and um, this genotype here would mean um, hitchhiker's sump. And this is uh, should be homozygous, recessive, uh, and uh, how we can get homozygous recessive if uh, two persons, uh, male and female, doesn't show this trait. And this is only possible when both of them would be of this genotype. So, for example, this is going to be genotype of the male. And here we can put genotype of the female. So once again we build the Punnett square. And as you see, this is what we are going to get. So capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here, and small a, small a here. So as you see, uh, 3 out of 4 would be normal uh, phenotype and uh, 1 out of 4 would have hitchhiker's sump. So that means that uh, both parents should be heterozygous. And this is answer D. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.